How about that cigar? And thanks so much for watching our live coverage of the 2021 PCA Trade Show. How about that cigar live again, guys? We are here at the PCA Trade Show. We have had such a fantastic time hanging out with all these great people in the cigar industry. And we are here with no less than the guys from Protocol Cigars, Juan Cancel, Kevin Kythan. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. It's an honor and a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Thank you for saying my name correctly. That was awesome. Hey, say, <laughs> see, he probably gets his name butchered a hundred times a day. But like, so guys, one of the things we've been talking about at the show this week has been, we are so grateful for the positivity and the fact that we all get to be together again, smoking cigars, because man, we were so tired of, of, of smoking locked away in our garages at home. So how awesome is it to be back together again with everybody in Vegas? So um, I had said this a few times already that uh, it feels phenomenal. That's my uh, my catchphrase, but it feels phenomenal. All kidding, all jokes aside, to be together, not have a mask on. Think about it. 2020, the IPCPR was canceled. Everybody was at home pulling their hair out. Well, I have a lot of hair, so I didn't pull none of mine out. <laughs> it's Man Bun Monday, by the way. So everybody know. So anyway. Everybody's going crazy, and the IPSBR, uh, responsibly so, uh, canceled the show, and they had to do it. But it just goes, that all goes into the whole 2020 of just everybody being at home with the mask, the fear, and it feels so refreshing. I feel this is the first step in the right direction of getting back to some sort of normalcy. I don't know if it'll ever be normal again, but it feels normal. It's good yeah. to be next to you. With no mask. I look, I'm going to hug him. Look. Hey, hey. When's the last time you hug I think we just broke a rule somewhere, but I, I love it. All right. So it feels great to be a little bit back to normal. Yeah. And so have you, Kevin, have you seen the same kind of positivity and kind of optimism from the retailers that you talk to? Oh, absolutely. Everyone's been super positive. Everyone's been super open. Like Juan said, hugging's going on. Yeah. We're back. It really does feel like we're back to normal right now. It feels yeah. great. Yeah. And, and it's one of those things that also, while, you know, it, part of the positivity is that we know that even with everything going on in the world, that you guys have been hard at work. You guys have been working on new, new cool stuff, some great new blends. So let's start out by talking about some of the cool new stuff that you guys have coming. Sure. I'll talk a little bit about some stuff and then Kevin can talk about the other stuff. So, um, and we'll get out here so Garrett sure. can see everything. So I'm going to talk about first about the, uh, Elliot Ness. So the Elliot Ness was supposed to be the 2020 release, but because of COVID, it just things started getting pushed back and pushed back. So unfortunately, it actually hit the market January of this year. So technically, it's even though it was supposed to be last year's release, it hit the market for 2021. And we're very proud of this. I'm going to go back to Elliot Ness in a second. But I want to start talking to you about the Lawman series. So in 2019 trade show, we decided to come out with something called the Protocol Sir Robert Peel. And what is Sir Robert Peel's? We wanted to do for our fifth uh, um, offering into the business something very special, something different than we've, what we've been known for, what we've been doing. So we came out with a more regal, elegant, nostalgic looking packaging. It looks more like a uh, your traditional Cuban style cigars, has the medallions on the side. It's just something you would expect to see in a very high end cigar shop. Yeah. So when we came out with that, people were saying, guys, this is not you. You are known for a more modern look. You got the whole simplicity going with the wooden, untreated wooden boxes. Why are you trying to get somebody who's not in your, uh, who's not your consumer base? And we said, you know something? We still want the average working Joe. Yeah. But even, even your sanitation guy, EMS, firemen, police, things happen in their lives sometimes where they yeah. want to have something special to do, uh, a birth, a graduation. Uh, promotion uh, raise the same average joke could still smoke our cigars but on a friday night or one of those things happen he wants to get dressed in a nice three-piece suit and a vest have a nice scotch and a sniffer and smoke something more elegant looking so that's that was our thing yeah. and we said to ourselves we had a lot of advice that we shouldn't have we shouldn't do it but we decided to stick to our guns like we often do and we did it and surprisingly enough it was one of the, some of the best sellers we've ever had we can't keep this stuff in stock. So for this year's trade show, or for last year, uh, Kevin and I decided to continue that success because it was doing well, and we, wanna, we didn't want to just leave it alone. So we came out with what was considered the Lawman Series. And the Lawman Series 
is a series. It's a more elegant, regal series, but it also showcases prominent and important figures in law enforcement. So Robert Peel is the father of modern day policing. Elliot Ness, he is one of the most famous lawmen uh, credited with arresting Al Capone. And we said to ourselves, if Al Capone, who's basically a criminal, a murderer, can have a cigar named after him, why not a cigar to honor the man that put that monster in jail? Absolutely. And that's Elliot Ness. So we decided at the Lawman Series, we're going to showcase special people in law enforcement. So, again, this should have been last year's release, but unfortunately things are where they are. It came out this year. So we decided to do, again, because we came out with a production run of that, and we, we and it, they sold out very fast. They're just great blends. We'll talk a little bit more of the blends if we get a chance, but the next thing we wanted to do, we wanted to continue and just make it a series. So we did the protocol Bass Reeves. Pro, uh, Bass Reeves was the first uh, African, I'm sorry, the first black uh, law enforcement officer uh, ever in history of the United States. And he's also the uh, inspiration for the Lone Ranger. So that's what we did. Unfortunately, they're closed right now because you don't have the vistas, but you guys can get a look at the, how the boxes look. Very nice. And we did that to show the diversity of law enforcement. That it's just not one particular race. It's, it's, a, it's multiple races, genders that all come together and try to do their best to uh, help society and help the public. Yeah. So that's our Lawman series. I'm going to let uh, Kevin, my partner, my beautiful, better looking partner than I am, talk about the protocol, cyber crimes unit and the 6x60. Yeah. So, so Kevin, this was something for Garrett and I, you know, also being um, guys who are really into technology, also working in IT security and stuff like that. When, when we found out, you know, that you were becoming part of the team, you know, obviously you not being directly in law enforcement, you have to think, okay, where, where are you going to fit your creative edge into the piece? And I think you really killed it with this. So talk a little bit about the cyber crimes unit. So we restructured the company and I asked Juan, can I put my stamp on the company? So we came out with the protocol cyber crimes unit. I don't know if we want to get a shot, but uh, beautiful blend, uh, Nicaraguan uh, risotto with an Escuro. So very nice blend, Nicaraguan binder and filler. It's my baby. I love it. Yeah. And we, so Garrett and I have just recently tried that cigar for the first time. I'm not going to, I'm not going to give any spoilers because we are going to be publishing a review of this cigar. I won't give any spoilers, but it's damn good. We'll, we'll leave it at that. You get the direct details later. So north of, north of 70. No, north of 70? <laughs> we're just messing with you. We're just messing with you. So, so then, then we've also got, right. <laughs> oh, no, it's all, we love it. So then it, this is another cool thing is going back to the OG, the protocol blue. There's now something really cool and new part of that series. Yeah. So I'll show you it here. So Juan and I said originally we would never come out with a six by 60. It's not in our wheelhouse, but the market has a demand for it. Yeah. So when we look at it, we're running a business. So I actually smoked it last night, uh, you know, for the third or fourth time. And I really enjoyed it last night. Um, I think it's going to be a great addition to the line. And depending on how we do in sales here at the show and going forward in the next few months, I have the rest of the core line already tooled up that we can expand that into a six by 60 as well. So we may stage it. We may just put it to market, but we got to see dollar cents make sense, you know, work yeah. out for us. But we're excited about that. Going back to the OG and the blue to start out with. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you're totally right about that, that, that you guys pay attention to the customer base. You pay attention to the market. It's not just about what you like. And, and honestly, there are a lot of smokers out there who love six by sixties and why not give them what they want in a blend that's already good to begin with. So that's a pretty cool addition. I agree. And that's why we, decided to go back to the blue, the original one, because we felt that's probably the best line that's going to translate into that 6x60 size. Yeah, and you guys still, still the, the core lines, you know, the original blue, the um, uh, uh, probable probable cause, uh, the, the, the themis, and we got to, so you guys remember, Garrett misread the band because he's an idiot. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but Garrett misread, and he said, the MI5. <laughs> So to this day, we still call it the MI5. <laughs> yeah, what about the MI5? Yeah, so, so that's our, that's our uh, favorite kind of nickname for the Themis. Uh, but it's, it's uh, oh, and also the official misconduct. We can't forget about that guy. But it's, uh, you really do have a portfolio that can, can 
fit any smoker's palate uh, or, or if somebody wants a different type of cigar at a different time of day, you guys have something for everybody. We try our best to listen to our consumers. And in the beginning, when we started, it was imagine any cigar nerd in the world. Boom. You're going to do a cigar company. First cigar is going to do something he loves. Like, you know, this is probably one and done shot. We had a second one. Again, this is going to be our last time. We're going to do something, something else we love. But then the demand was created and people would ask us, do you have a lighter body cigar, a natural cigar? And we said, no, we always say we have dark and darker or strong and stronger. So sometimes you have to listen to the demand because that demand actually paid dividends. Kevin, tell us about the dividends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, it takes a lot of capital, right? When you have yeah. a lot of SKUs, we found out we have 22 SKUs now and we have a small humidor. So trying to put that capital investment when you're building a small company like ourselves, we don't come out with five different sizes. You see, we come in the box press Toros for the Lawman series. So we're scaling it up. So as the revenue comes in, we're investing it right back into the company so we can bring better products to the market. Yeah. And, and okay. yeah, Kevin, go for it. Tell them how listening to the consumers benefits us. Tell them about the Themis. Oh, 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 yeah. So, oh, so that's where you wanted me to go. That's your story. That's your story. So we had, yeah. So when we uh, were first at uh, sales events and doing, uh, you know, different protocol uh, parties, all we heard was, uh, "Do you have a, um, a Connecticut? No. We have full and fuller. Uh, do you have something mild? No. I have strong and stronger. Right. And so that's one's normal story. But so we listen to the market. We're not real Connecticut smokers. Well, I am more so than you and Bill and back in the day. But we came out with that Themis and that is our number one seller. That is yeah. our number one seller beyond anything else in the line. Because of listening to you guys, because we were you guys and we still are you guys. So yeah. we listen to you guys and the stuff that you guys ask for, we try our best to do. So the Themis become our number one seller. I'm thinking the second time we listen to you guys, that six by six is gonna blow up for us. It's my prediction. Yeah, open up the markets because we have shops that won't bring us in. We don't have a six by sixty. Wow, just for just because of a six yes. by sixty. Yes, I have been told that by many shops. Yes. Wow. Well, that I mean that goes to show you the 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 consumers want what they want, and and you guys listened. Yeah. So that's important. Well, guys, we uh, we 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 got a question. <laughs> the firefighter line. So we actually thought about that. We were thinking about doing an EMS line, a firefighter line. But what we decided to do is we know ourselves and we want to stay true and stay genuine to who we are. Yeah. And I, being a, uh, a, a police officer for 20 years, I know this stuff. I do know firefighters, but our exposure out in the field is different. I do know EMS guys, but our exposure out to the, in the field is different. Those guys are amazing from firemen, EMS, and we work hand in hand. But I feel I don't want to. I feel it's going to look like I'm trying to do something, which I'm not. I'm trying to get these guys. I'm trying to be. Able, I'm just trying to get everybody. I'm trying to yeah. get first responders. Yeah. I am focusing or we are focusing as a company in law enforcement because that's who we are. Yeah. And that's who we can stay true and genuine to. Yeah. And that's important. You got to, you know, stick with your guns, stick with who you are. And you guys have really done that. And uh, consumers have noticed, we have noticed, you know, because again, like you said, we are still consumers, cigar media or not. Uh, the consumer hat never comes off. Right. And uh, you, the fact that you guys feel the same way really comes through. And consumers notice that, uh, they listen to it, and, and the, you know, the products, the products are just straight up good. Thank you. And so, so we have been fans of yours for a long time. We will continue to be. And guys, again, we've said it before. If you, if your brick and mortar shop does not carry protocol scars, talk to your tobacconist, talk to your tobacconist. That's the best way to get those products in there. If you guys have questions about the brands or the products, you can reach out to us and we'll help you reach out to these guys. So again, thank you guys so much for joining us oh, here at PCA. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. And it, we have great uh, coverage coming for the rest of the show. We appreciate you guys and we'll uh, be with you again soon.